What's up? Nolly Williams here. Artemis Prime here from Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise. And we are on video number two of a three-part series. And we're going to be talking about today, uh, Artemis came up with this title, which I love, Overcoming the Hustle. Yeah. Getting out of the daily grind and getting into greater success, health, and, and happiness by overcoming the hustle. Overcoming yeah. the hustle. I love that. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and first, we need to define what a hustle is. We need, to, we need to look at our cultural, like, like romantic fascination with, with staying in the grind. Right. Like, you know, getting, like Gary Vaynerchuk just published a book yeah. titled The Grind. The Grind, yeah. You know, and it's like, you know, there is an easier way. Get your hustle on. Yeah. yeah. I, I There's an easier up, way. Um, when I, when I, about 13, 14, I was, I was a hustler. Yeah. And, uh, and, and in the hood where, you know, I grew up, it was like, what's your hustle? You know, what, what's your, and every... We were rewarded by having a hustle. By hustling. Yeah, yeah. Hustling. It was romantic. It, it was romantic. It was like, oh, you're a really great man if it's, you're in a hustle. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. When really you're burning out if you're in a hustle. Absolutely. So the definition of a hustle is when you're trying to get what you desire, without specifically asking for what you desire and require. So you're trying to get what you want in life, but you're not specific in asking for what you desire and require from the universe, from God, from creation. Right. So, like for example, I want to make more money. Or, my outcome is I make $156,000 a year in these three income streams, work, you know, and here's my business model. Right. So which one's the hustle? I want to make more money. Yeah, I want to make more money. Yeah. Hustle, yeah. So it's like getting specific and, and with your goals. It's interesting that you say that because I, I never thought of it that way, but a lot of times when I ask my coaching clients and my students, uh, what, you know, what do you want? That's a question I like to ask. Yeah. And eventually they just throw out a number. I want to make a million dollars. I want to do a hundred deals. I want to do... And it is the hustle mentality because the hustle, the hustle is ingrained in that. In yeah. That way of thinking. Yeah. And a lot of the hustle is due to the lack of proper thinking, living too much in compulsion, obsession, mm -hmm. and also too much masculine energy. Right. Because you, you'll find that men are more likely geared towards the hustle than women. Right. And a lot of the... A lot of the posts you see on Facebook are like, hey, I'm working hard for the money. I'm doing it every yeah, day. Are you, are you guys doing the hard work? Are yeah. you guys doing the hustle? Are you, are you in it? And you know, it's like, you don't want to follow the person who like, gets to a million dollars and has lost all his hair and his bags under his eyes and he's just fatigued. He's worn yeah. out. You want to go find the guys that are happy, healthy Absolutely. and successfully and, and successful. And this is like the difference between someone in a hustle and someone who's using the laws of creation deliberately. I think it even comes back to when we were young, and it's either you're lazy or you're hustling. Uh -huh. You're lazy or you, yeah. you, you, you're getting that. Go get, go yeah. get yours. You know? So think about it. Like The hustle is still coming from a place of compulsion. I got to, have to, must. Yeah. And that's coming from a place of fear. A fear. Whereas people who move out of the hustle, people who start to use the techniques from video number one, which is visualization, affirmation, imagination. Yeah. You know, when you start to visualize what you want, affirm what you want, and see it, and you start feeling the feeling of wish fulfilled, and then you join like Quantum 10X, yeah, Q10X no, baby, Q10X yeah, program, down. and you start getting all the all the pillars of success. You get the four bodies. You, you get the right mentoring, the right the right vision, and the right success mindset. Mm -hmm. That is a quantum shift out of the hustle. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. that's why I highly recommend Quantum 10X, and anything this man is selling and sharing because it's about getting out of your got to, have to, must, and then getting the right mindset, the right training, and the right vision so that you can shift out of the hustle. But here's the, here's the thing about the hustle, Nolly. Yeah. We all have one. Yeah. You're, you're never going to completely not have yeah. a hustle. Right, right, right. But you're going to be able to, to, to decrease the amount of, of nervous tension in yourself yeah. to start releasing the hustle in your business, releasing the hustle in your family, because you've got to name what you want. Yeah. What do you want in your relationships? What kind of relationship? How and what way specifically? What do you want in your business? How and what way specifically? What do you want 10 years from now with your health, wealth, and happiness? How, how and what way specifically? And that's just three areas of your life that you can delete the hustle. Absolutely. And then your whole life can change. Just from defining what specifically what you desire and require. I like it. You know, yeah. uh, I was coaching with a guy. He has a, he's got a big YouTube channel. A lot of people know who he is. And um, he has over a quarter million, or 300,000 mm -hmm. YouTube followers. And I could clearly see, in fact, um, I had gotten a, sort of a vision before I met with him uh, to, for the coaching session that the hustle for him was an addiction. Mm -hmm. you know,
know, we talk yeah. about addictions, and we do a lot of coaching and training on addiction. Yeah. And the hustle becomes a this endorphin, this, this release in the brain. Yeah. That you get you get a dopamine high every time you every, high. every time you succeed a little in the hustle. And every time that something just about falls par- apart, and you save it, you save the deal mm-hmm. at the last minute. Yeah. And so it it really creates this um, sort of a chemical reaction in the yeah. brain where you feel like you need yeah. to be to have that. And be very careful of this because this your subconscious mind is like a record player and you have many grooves, you have many different tracks playing on an unconscious level. So like if you've been in a hustle for 10 years and you're making six figures and you're doing pretty well, but you're still in a hustle, that's a deep groove in your record player. So how do you how do you change that groove? Visualization, affirmation, and imagination. Absolutely. You start to imagine ease. Yeah. Like my money now flows to me easily, easily. and effortlessly. Easily yeah. And effortlessly. I create amazing businesses that attract the best clients, customers, and coaches Absolutely. for my personal development, success, and health, wealth, and happiness. It's like it just starts with a different set of feeling, but then you need to, with repetition, which is the mother of mastery, repetition is the rhythm of perfection. Right. You got to keep with these new success mindset practices for about 32 days. Yeah. You gotta keep up with something new. Like Brian Tracy taught my teacher, Kevin. He says, Kevin, if you wanna change your life, you're gonna to need to change some things in your life. That's right. You know, so if you're in a hustle watching this right now, and you know you are, and you know you're burning out, you're gonna to need to change some things in your life. And to know and not to do is not to know. So we recommend you go back to video one and you start visualiza- visualization, affirmation, imagination, and then you follow a system like Quantum 10X to get you to where you want to go. Absolutely. You know, and when you think about the hustle, overcoming the hustle, you know, you, just the idea that you can overcome it, just, just yeah. the knowing that it, that it is possible yeah. is a big step in the right direction. Absolutely, just the awareness. A lot of people don't, are not aware that, yeah. you mean there's another way to do this? Yes, there is another yes. way to do this. And it, and it doesn't have to stress you out or burn you out. Yeah. Um, when you think about um, deity, okay, you know, God the Father, God the Son, they're never in a hustle. No. Jesus was never in a hurry to do anything. Yeah, he was in the, pre- in the present moment. He was in the present yeah. moment. Yet all things got done. Yes. You know, he, he, uh, they say Messiah fulfilled 300 plus uh, of the uh, prophecies, 300 plus of the Old Testament prophecies, mm-hmm. while he was just going around about regular life, mm-hmm. you know, because he, he, he wasn't stuck in the hustle. Yeah. And so what you're describing from another perspective is Jesus was in continuous flow with God. Flow. And so flow is the opposite of hustle. That's a whole nother uh, video yeah. right there, huh? Yeah, flow, but we, yeah, but we can define flow right now and then, yeah. we'll, then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Flow is a state where action and awareness merge. Your sense of self just disappears and you feel at one with this creative force yeah. that's not only you, it's the creative force of the universe. You're being guided. Yeah. So it's almost like your sense of self vanishes. And so how do we create these flow states? Visualization, affirmation, imagination, meditation. Absolutely. So I didn't bring in meditation last time, yeah. but, but yeah. when we meditate on the word, when we meditate on our visualization, when we meditate on our purpose, like yeah. every morning I'm looking at my goals and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying to myself, I am an instrument of God. I, de- I declare myself an instrument of yes. God. I declare myself an instrument of the Holy Spirit. And that's almost like a, it's a surrendering, but it's also an aligning where, where you get into that flow state. If you start your morning in flow, and you do that every morning, and you get better and better at it the more you practice, because remember, repetition is the mother of mastery. Eventually, hustle. Time over, on the task over time, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Time over uh, time, time on, on the, the task, task over time. time. Yeah. yeah, wins every time. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, but what we're talking about here in this video is defining what is the task. Yes. And the task at hand really is Imagination, right? Visualiz- affirmation. Affirmation, visualization. Yeah. Um, and now meditation. Well, well, uh, and, and meditation. Yeah. yeah. That's the task. Those are the tasks. But yeah. what am I supposed to do? Well, <laughs> do those. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is really, really key distinctions. Like, wherever you are in your business, 80% is mindset, 20% is, is strategies, techniques, and how. Right. And so 80% is what we're teaching today. It's the mindset. It's, it's getting into the right sweet spot in your mind and then moving from that place, developing these new patterns, these new, these new success habits, yeah. that's going to triple your productivity in less than 10 minutes a day. Absolutely. And what happens too is that people experience burnout mm-hmm. and they experience a hatred toward what they're doing because, because of burnout. they're working so hard for it. And the result that they got, that they are getting 
doesn't feel like what they thought it should feel. I know, and they don't know that they're hating what they're doing right. because they're in a hustle. They think they have to keep doing it. Absolutely, and, and that eventually is, I mean, that's classic burnout. Yeah. Classic burnout. And that starts to eat away at your soul. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, like, remember, Jesus and all the great avatars were never in a hustle. Never. They never had to hustle for anything. They were magnetic. In flow. They were in flow. They were yeah. in flow. And so we can strive for these places by being about our spiritual practice and doing the things that we know bring bring flow into our lives. Yes. Yeah. No doubt. All right. That's it for video number two. But you got to do yeah. knowing and not doing. What was that you said? Knowing. To know and not to do. Yeah. Is not to know. Is not to know. Yeah. All right. So it's video number three. We're going to talk about resistance and how to overcome resistance. And we're going to give you the most powerful law in the universe for creating anything you want. Anything you want. Anything and then, that you desire. And then anything that comes up in resistance, and we're going to teach you how to overcome that. I love it. Yeah. That's video number three. Love you.